LEGO Speed Champions is a beloved theme. This is a theme of LEGO sets that are constant bestsellers that have been around for a while now and everybody just loves them. They're super collectible because they look great when they're displayed together on a shelf. They're really well designed, especially since they've been changed in the last couple of years to be a little bit larger. And these sets are based on brands that we know and love and there's so many great partnerships going on here with the LEGO group, working with some of the most popular car brands in the world to bring us incredible LEGO sets. Now, one of the other interesting things about speed champions is that they do have a consistent flow in terms of sets retiring and disappearing off the shelves and every year we do lose some speed champion sets and this is a good thing of course because it means that there's new sets coming out all of the time to replace the ones that retired but for lego collectors and lego investors we want to make sure we're buying the sets that are retiring before they are gone for good and this year we're a little bit spoiled for choice there is a lot of speed champion sets retiring this year and the reason for that is because right now there are so many different speed champions sets actually getting manufactured and appearing in stores. The lineup right now is abnormally large and so some of them do need to retire. And last year, out of the three base single car Speed Champion sets, only one of them actually retired and the other two ended up getting pushed out and have been on shelves this year and so those are now going to retire. So this year in 2023 we just have so many Speed Champion sets and that means many of them need to go at the end of this year. So which LEGO Speed Champion sets are due to retire as of right now? Which sets are we going to be saying goodbye to in December 2023? Let's have a quick look here and I want to jump in here with the Koenigsegg Jesco. What an incredible set to start with. This is just a beautiful design and it's one of my favorites out of these retiring sets I love this one this is set number 76900 280 pieces in the box one minifigure of course price per piece of around seven cents it was a $20 set and it was released in 2021. So if it goes ahead and retires at the end of 2023, the shelf life on this will end up being around two and a half years on the Jesco. Now, again, this is a $20 set. And what you're gonna notice is a lot of these MSRPs that are retiring this year are the old price points because Speed Champions went through a price increase. When Lego Group massively raised a lot of their prices last year, Speed Champions were one of those impacted themes and so some of the newer speed champion sets have an msrp of 25 dollars as opposed to the old price of 20 dollars now in my opinion this is going to make these sets comparatively seem like they're good value because when fans get used to that 25 dollar price point then some of these cheaper sets will seem like they were good value especially since some of them get discounted pretty frequently so you could go out there and get this set for 20 percent off and you'd be buying it for 16 dollars and meanwhile fans are spending 25 dollars to buy very similar sets at the Lego store today. And whenever something seems good value in comparison, then that in my mind gives it more runway for the price to grow in the aftermarket because now fans are gonna be okay paying 25, 30, 35, 40 for this set pretty soon after it has retired. And that could lead to a little more appetite for the set and a little more sustained demand as the price starts to go up. So the Jesco is the first Speed Champion set that we will be saying goodbye to in December of 2023. Now, what else do we have here? So next. Up we have the Toyota GR Supra. I just love the color on this one. It really stands out amongst the collection. This is set number 76901, piece count of 299. Again, one minifigure, and once again, a price per piece of seven cents on this one. Again, the MSRP is $20 on this, so this was another one that was part of the older wave of lower priced sets before the prices went up. Again, released in June 2021, the same wave as the Jesco we just looked at. And if this retires at the end of December 2023, then that'll be a shelf life of two and a half years. The Supra is another one that I'm excited about. It is a little more readily available than the Jesco right now in stores. This one is getting discounted a little more than the Jesco, especially in the United States. Uh, that could mean that there's a little more supply out there of the, of the Supra, but I also know the demand on this set is pretty strong, so we will see what that really means for the values after the sets retire. Next up, we have the Aston Martin Valkyrie 2-pack, and this is pretty good value right here. We have 76910 is the set number, 592 pieces. So this one has two cars, which of course means two minifigures, and it is a price per piece of eight cents. MSRP on this is $45, but you can get this discounted for below $40. I've recently seen it for $36, which again, if you're talking about single car speed champion sets being $25 today at the raised prices that they've gone up to, 
and you can get a two pack for $36. Comparatively, it is going to seem reasonably priced. Uh, this was released in March 2022, and when it retires at the end of December 2023, that will be a shelf life once again of a year and three quarters. So the two pack. Aston Martin set will be going at the end of this year as of right now. Things could change, of course, and again, all of this stuff could change because the LEGO Group may extend sets into the following year, which they do, and they did last year during the summer with Speed Champion sets, so we do need to keep an ear to the ground. And if you want to be up to date on this stuff, definitely recommend checking out our free Facebook group where discussions will happen in there. So there's a link down below to jump into the Facebook group if you're not in there already. Next up, we have the Aston Martin DB5. This is the 007 James Bond. Now, it was an interesting thing that the LEGO Group started to do with Speed Champion sets when they started to do licenses based on movie franchises in the Speed Champions theme. This is something that we had in other themes, of course, like Creator Expert, which is now known as Icons. Uh, but we have not seen this in Speed Champions until now. And recently we've had this with James Bond and we've also had it with Fast and Furious where Speed Champion sets are based on movies. It's an interesting direction. Now how this is going to impact the value of these sets after they retire and the value starts to go up online, we are yet to see that because this is the first wave of movie based Speed Champion sets that are actually going to retire. So starting with the Aston Martin DB5, it's set number 76911 piece count of 298 and one minifigure of course of James Bond in this one uh, price per piece of seven cents that's an MSRP of twenty dollars released in August 2022 so this is actually not going to have a very long shelf life when it retires at the end of 2023 now the interesting thing about being based on movie licenses is that there can be excitement that can be spurred up by upcoming movie announcements and different things now James Bond the timing is a little bit off because we already just had a, a recent movie and I don't know that they're going to be ready to announce anything anytime soon because they're still going through trying to figure out who the next James Bond is actually going to be played by so we are a few years out of new stuff coming out in this brand so will the speed champion set enjoy a bump to the demand in retirement because of a movie announcement uh, it could take a couple of years but if you are a longer term investor that is something that you could look out for with the aston martin db5 i'll be interested to see what happens with the value of this set uh, in the aftermarket. Next up, we have the Fast and Furious 1970 Dodge Charger. Again, this is Dom's Dodge Charger from the Fast and Furious brand. Another movie-based Speed Champion set. This is set number 76912. Now, we also have another Fast and Furious Speed Champion set out there. So, this is now part of a collection and we love when we see things part of a collection for LEGO investing because it helps with the demand. People who buy the other set will also want this set. Piece count on this is actually really impressive. This is 345 pieces in here which gives it a very low price per piece has one minifigure of course it is Dom and the price per piece of six cents on this one is the lowest out of all of the sets that we've seen here in the series this is a MSRP of $20, the same as the other single car sets here, released in August 2022, the same time as the Aston Martin that we just looked at, and when it retires at the end of December 2023, that will be a shelf life of less than a year and a half on the shelves. Again, this is interesting because it is part of a collection. I do think that that will help with the demand. Will they continue to make Fast and Furious movies that continues to spur demand for this series? They have said that they're going to continue, but who knows, right? Who knows? That is something we should be thinking about when we're considering investing in and buying some of these sets in terms of the values going up over time. But if you're a Lego fan, Lego collector, then, you know, this is just going to look great on your shelf. The, the extra pieces really does help with the detail on this one. This, this has 100 pieces more than the Lotus that we just looked at, 247 parts versus 345 parts. So it's pretty good value that you can see with the 1970 Dodge Charger, and we do need to keep that in mind. So those are six LEGO Speed Champion sets that are due to retire at the end of 2023. And if you want a full list of LEGO sets retiring this year, I'm also gonna drop that link down below so you can actually get a list. You can download it straight to your device and look over all the different themes of sets that are retiring. So get out there and buy these sets while you still have the chance, and I will see you in the next one.